Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Chef Roger. I'm about to demonstrate how we make a pastry cream, a crème pâtissière. With that, later on, I'm going to make a beautiful fruit tart. So I hope you check out that video too. So what do I need for that? I need some milk. I have milk here, 500 milliliters of milk. I'm going to bring that to a simmer with a vanilla bean. The vanilla bean, I'm going to split it in half and scrap the inside and put it in. So I take my vanilla bean like that, you cut it in half this way, and then you open it and you scrap the inside like that. Because we want to make sure we release all of that vanilla flavor that is inside here, those little pods of vanilla. Okay. And you put it in. Of course, you put the bean with it too. You scrap it like that, that all inside here. I'm going to bring that to a simmer and then I'm going to incorporate to that a mixture of egg yolk and sugar and a little bit of flour. So I'm taking a bowl here. Here I have 225 gram, 125 gram of sugar. Put that here. I'm gonna break four egg yolks into that I'm using my eggshell splitter. I go like that, then I put the yolk here, and the white just release itself, and then I'm just gonna use the yolk. Okay. Right here. Well, the milk is coming to a ball, so I'm gonna lower it. There we go. I'm going to mix the egg yolk and the sugar. We call that blanchir, meaning that you know it's ready when it's pale, pale yellow. You know, since as you stir it like that, you incorporate air into it, and it's going to lighten in color. Blanchir. Then into that, I will add 20 grams of flour I have here and 22 grams of cornstarch straight into it. Okay. You stir it well and then I'm going to add some of my milk to it. A little bit, we're going to temper it. Temper it means to bring that mixture close to the temperature of the milk. So the eggs are curdled here. They shouldn't anyway because they're protected by the flour. When you mix egg and flour together, uh, that prevents the egg from curling on you. Here, add a little bit of it. Mix it in. To add a little bit more. And now everything. Say a little hello to all my subscribers. They're growing every day. I'm very happy about it. Thank you, all of you. I really appreciate that. And I really hope we're going to have a long story together. So then, I'm going to put everything back into my saucepan here. Okay. I'm going to put back the heat on and I'm going to cook it. We're going to cook it till it becomes very thick. You know it's cooked when it's very, very thick. And it can't be loose. Remember, we're going to use that as a filling. So if it's too loose and you fill something with it, it's just going to leak out of it. So it needs to be very thick. Make sure you stir on the side here so it doesn't start to burn on the side or stick on the side. You make sure you stir everywhere. Don't stop stirring. If you stop stirring, it's going to form some lumps on the bottom. 
and you don't want that to happen. If it happens, it's not really a big deal, you just want to make sure you stir it well after that. Try to just stir it well right away. There you go, you can see that but it's getting thicker. Mm, that's gonna be good. I'm gonna make some beautiful tart with that and some nice eclair. You see? Oh that's my vanilla. It's getting nice and thick. You see how nice and thick it is here? Ah. That's ready. I'm just gonna let it cook a couple of minutes because again we have eggs here. So, you know, just to be on the safe side. I'm talking about if there was any kind of salmonella in those eggs, which I doubt, but just to make sure, you know. Cook that a couple of minutes here. And also, if you don't cook it long enough, you may have a taste of raw flour in the cream and you really don't want that. So when the pastry cream is ready, we're going to remove it. I'm going to put it into that container here. I keep the vanilla bean inside. Because as it's cooled down, the vanilla is still infusing in, and I will remove it later. So you can see it's a nice and thick consistency, which is exactly what I want. It needs to be thick. Then what I'm going to do to that, because I don't want a uh, skin to form on top of my pastry cream. You really don't want that. So two things you could do. Put a piece of plastic wrap on top of it. I'm not a big fan of that. Or you could do what we call tamponade. You take a little piece of butter and you damp the cream with that like that. Tamponade means to stamp. You know in the old day when you used to put the stamp on a letter? That's what we're doing here with the butter. Tamponade. And you go like that and that's going to prevent the skin to form. We do that also a lot in sauce on sauces when we make sauce so they don't develop a skin on them. Just like that. See? And then when you need it, it's perfect. Here we are. Thank you for watching that quick demo on how to make a beautiful pastry cream. Remember, I'm going to do something else with that, so keep an eye on my library to see what I did. Thank you. Happy cooking. Happy baking.